If you're reviewing your footage and you see that you have some stuck pixels, this video is for you. I'm gonna teach you the reasons it happens, how to prevent it in camera so it doesn't happen again. But if you've already filmed and you're stuck with it in your footage, I'm also gonna teach you how to remove it during post-production. It's a perfect fix and it works every time. Also, if you wanna know any of the gear or the music we use to make our videos, all links are in the description. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to fix and prevent stuck pixels. Let's jump in. I have a clip here open with this red dot stuck in the footage. There's another one here, and there's also a white dot right here. And this can be extremely frustrating because it's almost impossible to see in camera. You have to basically open the footage up onto a large screen and then you will be able to see it. That means you could do a shoot all day long for a paying client, get home and then not notice that you have a stuck pixel or stuck pixels until you review the footage. And then at that point, since you've already shot the footage, you're kind of screwed. You can't just go into the camera settings and make some changes to fix it. So first I'm going to show you how to fix it before you film. Now on modern cameras, you probably have the pixel remapping feature. In that case, all you do is go to the settings, go to pixel remapping, and then it'll turn the camera off. You can turn it back on. And that's literally all you need to do to remap the pixels. And then that'll remove any of the stuck pixels that you have. If you're not on a newer camera that has that option, then you can still remap the pixels by changing the date. So you go into your date settings and then make some changes there and save it turn off the camera, turn it back on, and then that should also remap the pixels as well. However, if you've already shot footage and then you get home and realize that you have some stuck pixels, the next best thing you could do is to fix it in post, as they always say. So you can do that by using a program like Adobe Photoshop, and you're gonna go frame by frame and remove each one. It is a bit of a tedious process, but the results are perfect. So this is the clip with the stuck pixels, and then this is the clip after the pixel remapping in camera, and the results should be the same for the Photoshop one. Not a lot of people know this, but you can actually import video directly inside Photoshop, but I don't think it works with MP4 files. Um, I couldn't get it to work. So I converted it to ProRes. Uh, I just brought it into DaVinci and then I'll put it to Apple ProRes which I believe comes in the free version on Mac. Uh, you will be limited on Windows. You'll have to try a different format, maybe DNHR or GoPro Cineform. So once you have the non-MP4 version, you can go to Open With, Other, Navigate to Applications, where Photoshop is, Open With Photoshop. And then here you can use the left and right arrow to go between each frame and we will zoom in just so we can see one of the uh, still pixels, which is right here. And you can see it's basically in every single frame. So let's go back to frame one. We'll go over to the spot healing brush as one of our tools. And then you can change the size of it up here or use the left bracket. And you essentially just click, right arrow, click, and then again, right arrow to go to the next frame. Now, obviously this is gonna take quite a long time to go through. And as far as I know, there's no automated way to do this unless you use like a video program. But in that case, you wouldn't be taking advantage of Photoshop's auto heal function. So I think this gives a much cleaner result. It's basically pixel perfect. And basically what I do is I go to the next frame and then I try not to move the mouse from there. And then I just press both buttons back to back very quickly. You can get to the end of your footage um, in just about, you know, under a minute or so. In real time, this is actually how fast I would be doing it. And I'll spare you having to watch me do the entire thing. But if we go back, you can see that it has been done for all of those frames up to that point. So again, that was just one of the pixels. You would have to repeat the process for any of the other ones. Once you're done, you're gonna have to get it back into a video format. So you can go to File, Export, Render Video. And then from here, you can choose whichever settings you want. But for me, since I wanna keep the highest quality, I'm gonna stick to QuickTime Uncompressed, and we can name it Fixed. 
And then that would be the workflow for fixing in post-production. A Little bit of a process, but that's what it takes. And that can save you from having an upset client that is paying good money to get professional results. All right, that's it for this video on how to prevent and fix stuck pixels. If you'd like to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from us in the future. We have over 200 videography related videos, so lots of content for you to learn from and watch. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.